Have you ever had the fantasy of being of being a hero? Well, I guess it's you know probably because of the job I worked at for so long, being a security guard. And security guard most of the time is one of the most boring, useless jobs you ever can imagine. But anyway, I'd often have fantasies about being a hero, discovering a fire, ringing a fire alarm, stopping somebody from being hurt, or whatever, you know, just just idle thoughts, you know, because you have nothing else to think about. Well, at one time, this was 10 years ago, I was working at a bus terminal in Pinellas County, Florida. You know, the reason they had guards there was because if they didn't, it was a rough place to work, you know, all sorts of people and a lot of a lot of homeless people like to loiter there, and, and it, it was just it was, it was just always drama there. I mean, I called the cops all the time when I was there. They they knew me on a first name basis because I I loved it because I got people arrested. You know, and I, like I said, I was thinking, of, you know, wouldn't it be cool if I was a hero? Well, one day, the job, you know, all I did was I just walked around in a circle for, for hours at a time, you know, looking for rule breakers, you know, people drinking on the site or panhandling or, you know, there's just a whole bunch of rules that I had to enforce. And um, I was always busy. But anyway, one day I was walking around a circle and it wasn't a very big circle. It didn't take me five, maybe five, ten minutes to do it, you know. Maybe a little longer if I saw something, I had to deal with something. But anyway, I was walking around this circle, and there was this young school girl, probably a middle schooler or someone, a young girl. She wasn't, I don't think she was a teenager yet, waiting on the, the bus to go home. And while she was sitting there, I walked past. This guy came came up and grabbed her arm and tried to pull her off the property. And you can imagine what he was what was probably on his mind to do. So um, for some reason she didn't scream or anything, but she managed to pull away from him. She got away from him. And went and got on a bus and ran, and he and the, and the guy ran off. And um, and I came around the corner just minutes later, just met, probably missed it by seconds. And the reason why I know all this is because there were surveillance cameras all over the terminal. And th the girl went home and told her parents about it. And they filed a police report, and a cop came up and went to the customer service booth where the cameras were, and um, he he looked through it, and and him and the customer service lady saw the whole thing happen. Watched, you know, so nobody, you know, wasn't my fault. Nothing I could have done about it. Um, but um. I was thinking, wow, it could have been cool if I would have caught the guy and ran him off, or or I wouldn't have ran him off. I would have broke the rules and broke his neck or something, you know, because hurting little kids just really annoys me. But anyway, you know, but I, you know, but I could have, you know, and maybe, I, maybe in a way, I was a hero, you know, because he didn't have time to do what he wanted to do because he knew I was, you know, I was in uniform. You know, he knew he had to hurry. The girl resisted. But, you know, maybe, you know, maybe I was a hero after all. That's what I think. So anyway, I thought about that story and, and you know, about, about, what, about that incident. And then I wrote a story about it. I wrote a true story. And then I wrote a fictional story with that part of the plot. So. That's all I have for the day. Please um, leave a comment and share my videos if if you enjoy them. Thank you and have a good day.